And she, this is actually a true story in her little childhood, so it's really beautiful. I love it. Baby Duck could not eat her breakfast. It was the first day of school, and her stomach was all a jitters. Breakfast toast is very tasty, said Mrs. Duck. Won't you have a bite? No, Baby said. Breakfast juice is very juicy, said Mr. Duck. Won't you have a sip? No, said Baby Duck. No one saw the language. Want to show me? No. No. Your sister, Hot Stuff, is way too small to go to school, Mrs. Duck pointed out. She's not brave enough either. Aren't you glad to be the big and brave sister? No, said Baby Duck. Baby Duck sat under the table with her blue school bag. Baby loved her school bag and all the important things inside. One favorite book, a sandwich with jam, one tall pad, and one yellow pencil. A special going to school present from Hot Stuff for her sister. Button up your new school sweater, called Mrs. Duck. Hurry, baby, and baby frightened. It took a long time. Buckle up your new school shoes, called Mr. Duck. Hurry, baby. And baby buckled. It took a long time. Mr. Duck looked at his watch. <gasps> time to go, he cried. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Duck bustled out the front door, swinging hot stuff in the air. Their feet crunched on dry Come, they cried. School, glorious school. Baby Duck dragged the Duck family waddled down the road. Hop to it, baby, called Mr. Duck. Baby could not hop. Her feet felt too heavy. Chip up, baby, called Mrs. Duck. Skip along. Baby could not skip. Her school bag was bumping, bumpity, bumpity. Baby's buckle popped open and now her shoe was flapping. Flappity, flappity, flap. Did she have a good day? Mm, no. Calling all babies. Here I am. Grandpa was waiting on the bench. Baby sat right up close to Grandpa. Rough day, he whispered. Yes, said Baby Duck. Said, baby said, walk, walk, Grandpa whispered. Yes, said Baby. Scared about school, whispered Grandpa. Yes, Baby said. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to sing a song, Grandpa said. You sing nice songs, Baby. Yes, Baby said. I do. Then Baby sang a song. Please don't make me go to school. My teacher will be mean. I won't have any fun or friends. And who will buckle my new shoe? I will, Grandpa said, and he buckled Baby Shoe. After that, Baby showed Grandpa the important things inside her school bag. He liked the pencil from Hot Stuff. You draw nice pictures, Baby, Grandpa pointed out. Yes, Baby said, I do. Then Baby drew a picture. Davy Duck took little steps towards Baby. See, coming closer and closer. He looked at Baby's picture. Ah, Baby felt proud. Miss Posey came across the schoolyard. Hello, my name is Miss Posey, she said. I'm the teacher. Are you mean? Grandpa said. Oh, no, said Miss Posey. You sing songs in that schoolhouse, Grandma asked. Oh, yes, said Miss Posey. Do you read books in there, Grandma asked. Oh, yes, said Miss Posey. Do you like sandwiches with jam and yellow pencils, Grandma asked. Oh, yes, said Miss Posey. Miss Posey rang the bell. Good luck, Grandpa said, shaking baby's hand. Then Mr. and Mrs. Duck took turns kissing Baby on both cheeks. We'll be right here, they promised, when school lets out. Mommy. But Hot Stuff cried. Woo! Woo! 
baby duck put her arm around Hot Stuff. Little small babies have to wait, she said. She gave Hot Stuff the picture she had made. Chin up, baby said. <clears throat> then baby duck hopped and skipped into the big schoolhouse with her new friend, Davy Duck. She sang a pretty song. Her new best friend, this little boy, and she sang this song. Off to school, baby duck, I am big and brave. I like Miss Posey, Daisy Duck too, and I'll have fun in my new school. <laughs> yes. Did you like it? means I love you. See, this is I love you, Grandpa, and I love you, Grandma. Okay? All right, so we're going to start our project. So you're going to sit with who you came with. So look at the